Hi there. My name is John Barton. I'm the maker of the GTF cases. Um, when I build a case, my main focus is protection. So because of that, I build a little bit of extra padding into my cases and some extra security features to keep your queue safe and secure. Um, I'm here to teach you how to load your GTF case the most efficient way. We're speaking right now about the 2x4 model. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Basically what you do is you take your first queue and you put it in the side. You can put it in either direction really, but most people prefer to put it in bumper down. So we do that, bumper down, as you can see. Do the other side the same way. Bumper down. Just let it slide in. Push it in. Let it seat. Okay, there's extra padding at the bottom. All of the, all of the uh, cavities here are fully sealed, so each one is independent. The next thing you want to do is you want to take your shaft. The first shaft you're going to put in tip up. So you're going to put it in just like that with the tip up. Okay, the next shaft you're going to put it in also tip up, but you're going to do it diagonally to the other side right here. So you can see the hole. And you're going to put it in tip up so that it will be diagonal to the first one, as you can see. Now, the next thing you want to do, the next shaft goes in tip down. Just like this. Tip down. Push it in. And the next shaft after this also goes in tip down and then you just push everything in to where it seats and there you go. As you can see here, no cues are touching, no problems, no parts are touching. Here, I'll make this a little bit so you can see that no parts are touching. Now, for the security feature, as you can see, we can turn the case upside down, nothing falls out. Even if I bring the cues out like this, nothing goes out and everything is nice and secure. Now another thing I want you to see about this case is that nothing moves. You don't hear anything. I'm holding the handle. You don't hear anything. You don't hear any movement in there. So that's how you load a GTF case. Very simply, tips opposite, two tips up, two tips down. If you want to take the cues out, it's recommended to take a shaft out and then start pulling the cues out together just like that. See, one more time. Put them in. There you go. Now, to put the cap on, we have a white dot right here at the back. As you can see, there's a white dot at the back. Now, generally the case is facing you, facing to me. So I'm going to look at my white dot, take it, put it on, push the cap down, let it seat, now, you can take it and put it on the floor and just kind of give it a little extra push, put it down. So I'm going to do that one more time. Take it, set it on, set it down on the floor and just push. Now it's nicely seated, nothing will move and it won't go anywhere. To take it off, simply take one hand, one hand here, pull straight up. Okay? It's very important that you pull straight up. This is a tight fit. It's done that way for a reason, so that no latch is required. All right? Because of that, nothing will move and you have a nice efficient case. But you must pull straight up because if you try to pull off to the side, you'll make it catch and it won't be easy to remove. So straight up and it comes right off. Okay? Let's try that again. Locked. Straight up. And as you can see, I can do that with two fingers straight up. Alright, one more time. Holding it like this, straight up, and it pulls right off. Locked in place. Okay, that's how you use a GTF case. Now, one more time, straight up. Removing the cues. First take out the shaft you want to use. Then you can pull the cue right out, no problem. Same thing on the other side. Now you can pull the cue out, without removing the shafts. You just have to remember to move the shafts in a little bit when you put it in. Also, another thing to remember is that shafts 
or butts, one of your butts can go in joint down if you so prefer. And still, even at that, you'll notice that nothing is touching. Okay, nothing is touching, everything is secure. And once again, case is facing you, white dot to the back, put it on, let it seat, and that's your GTF case. Thank you very much for, for uh, purchasing a GTF case or considering GTF. And I had a lot of fun building these cases. In the next segment, I'll tell you all about the history of the cases and why I did it. Okay, thank you very, very much, and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.